What's up guys? Some of you may remember back when I started this channel, back when it was called DMP Fitness, back when I was just a sophomore, I think it was 2014, two years ago, when I started to document my training, when I didn't know what I was doing, when I was just getting into the strength world, running programs like 531, I started a series called Journey to the Thousand Pound Club and looking back, it did relatively well. But I never got there. I, my journey ended, right? Um, I had some knee problems, and then I had some hip problems, back problems, back to hip problems, hip flexor problems, changing a lot of stuff with my form, um, a lot of stalling, right? I never actually broke a thousand pound total in the squat, bench, and the deadlift, which is crazy to think because so many people do that, like that's so simple. I'm 21, I train a lot, that should have already happened. So, I'm, I'm gonna start the series again. I, I thought about doing this ever since I started the Rebuild series. That series is now officially to a close. I went for a squat PR yesterday, all time PR, and I got it. If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen it. If not, I'll play it right now. So yeah, that was actually 327 pounds with a buffalo bar and I got it. So I think I can officially say the rebuild process is over. My hip feels great when I squat. My squat is stronger than ever, especially because I took eight months off, yet I still just hit a PR after only squatting again for maybe a month. I think it's been less than a month. So I'm at the point now where I can start to add weight. I can start to focus on building my total. I'm about to run a program. Um, absolute strength by Kyle Hunt and I think I can get to a thousand pounds before the end of the semester maybe I have to kind of see where my maxes are anyways that's what I'm gonna do today so I've been running my own program for the whole summer and it was largely hypertrophy based to just build size six days a week push full legs and I've been focusing on incline bench now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit flat bench go for a one rep max on flat bench see where I'm at there because I need a I need a one rep max for the program, and then probably either tomorrow or Sunday I'm gonna do the same for deadlift. So I'm gonna document my training once again, um, and just go for that thousand pounds that I should have got before. Maybe if training goes really well, I'll think about doing another meet. If you guys remember, if you've been watching for a while, I did a meet August I think of 2014. That was my first and only meet, but I'm down to do another as long as I feel good, and uh, so that. I can be solidified into the thousand pound club. Anyways, that's that. I'll try to record some of the benching at very least today. Get that one rep max, see where I'm at. I'm hoping I can hit 275 again. That's the most I've ever hit, but I don't know. I haven't flat benched in a while. We will see, we will see. We, we gonna see. Hey guys, so um, back again. Today is Friday. 
Um, not doing much today. I'm just home. This is the last Friday. I'll, be, I'll probably be able to relax until the semester starts Monday. Um, my schedule is going to be insane. Let me show you real quick. This is my schedule. So uh, a lot of days I'll be starting around 7.45, 6 o'clock, ending around 8 p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Training clients, doing internship, all that stuff, class, et cetera, et cetera. So it's gonna be ridiculous. So I'm enjoying this day. I feel a little lazy. I'm gonna enjoy this day though. I am editing a video that I recorded two days ago with my physical therapist, talking a lot about butt wink, uh, what may cause it, talking about stretching, um, and his thoughts behind stretching, which is very interesting. But today, I think I'm gonna go for my sumo one rep max, sumo deadlift. Never really liked sumos, but I'm gonna run with it because I want, I, I still don't feel confident about my conventional deadlift going over heavy weight. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, on Throwback Thursday this week, I posted a video of my old conventional deadlift form. It was terrible. Um, and I just think sumo for my leverage is, is gonna end up working better long term. I'm trying to hit 405. The funny thing is, if I hit 405 today, if I'm able to actually do that, that means that the series that I'm continuing now, which is a start from the series I started in 2014, which I've discussed about already, so that means that this, this journey to the 1,000 pound club will end today. If I can hit 405, the journey ends today because my 327 squat, my 275 bench, plus a 405 deadlift totals over a thousand pounds. So I may end the series right today, maybe the end of it. Next clip will be in the gym. I'm going around four o'clock, have a client at 545. So I should have enough time to max out, maybe do some really light squats and that will probably be it. I might do some stuff with my client, maybe some ab stuff with my client. We'll see, we'll see, but that is, uh, that is that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna relax and watch more of uh, Kitchen Nightmares, it's not on right now, it's commercial, but uh, Kitchen Nightmares is a really good show. And then change, eat one more meal, a turkey sandwich before I work out. See you guys in the gym. So these next few clips are gonna be me just working up to my one rep max. And these are gonna be the last clips of the video. I didn't get to record a clip to finish off the video, so I figured it'd be good to do a voiceover to sort of wrap things up. Um, these went pretty well. I haven't deadlifted that much up until this point, so my form was a little shaky. I'd say now it's a little better, and me doing this voiceover now is probably like three to four weeks after I recorded this footage. I've just been so, so insanely busy with internship and clients and work and school. It's really been a lot, but I'm finally getting this video up. I'm glad to be getting it up, and we're gonna see exactly what I got and where that sort of leaves my to total in terms of the squat bench and deadlift. So let's go ahead and take a look at this attempt. We'll see whether this series continues or not. Bang. So as you see, I got four or five, was really happy with that, went for 415 and you'll see that wasn't really in me, but that is it for this video. The series is over, episode 15, Journey to the Thousand Pound Club. As you'll see in some of the text that's about to pop up, I my total is now 1,007 pounds. I think with the program I'm running, it's gonna be quite above that, especially as I get used to these movements again. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to try to keep putting out at least one video a week. Once again, my schedule is completely insane, very tough, but uh, that's my problem, not yours, and I want to continue to put out content. So be on the lookout for some videos coming forward, uh, stuff with my therapist, and also some upper body footage more recently. And I'll see you guys in that next video.